Hi everybody, um, I'm going to show you in this short tutorial how we can animate a still image. Uh, here's my still image that I've imported into Premiere Elements. Uh, and as you can see, if I just play this, uh, it's not terribly interesting if you go from obviously a moving video clip to a still image. Now, it's actually very easy to do. I've imported uh, my picture. If I click on the picture in the main window, you can see I've actually enlarged it. So you can make them go larger or smaller. And as a tip, what I do is when I bring in my still images, I actually reduce them using Photoshop uh, beforehand and I save them at about two and a half thousand pixels uh, wide. And the point of doing that is, uh, number one is if you're importing 60 megabyte or even 80 megabyte files just for a, I don't know, two or three second glimpse of a picture, it, uh, it uses up a huge amount of res resources in the, in the computer. So it, it, it's not needed. Uh, two and a half thousand is a good number because that allows me then to blow it up as I've done here a little bit. Uh, without it losing uh, some of the detail. So let me show you how, the, how to do that. So I, I brought it in. When I click on the image, I get the little blue line. And if I just shrink it down, you can see there's the size of the shot. It's actually a weird format anyway, because it's not quite uh, the same proportion being a Canon sensor. It's not quite the same proportion as HD video. So that's why we have to blow it up a little bit bigger anyway, in order to fill the frame as it were. But I'm going to do a little bit more than fill the frame. And I'm going to go way over the top because if I move the playhead off to the left here, just to the beginning of that particular uh, still image, I want to just have that part viewing uh, when we start. And as the playhead rolls over the still image, I want it to end up with that amount on the right hand side. So let's just pull it back to that side. And again, this is just a random number. I, I'm, you know, I could be, I could actually make it much bigger. I could make it smaller, but I think that this is probably going to be more or less enough for us. So I've positioned the still image in the main window here, very easy. I've got the playhead at the beginning of that still image. I need to just make sure that the motion setting is set to position. As you can see on the blue header, it is. If I click away, it turns it off. Click back on the image. If it isn't there, you can right click on top of this, move down to the motion and just choose position. It's already set to position, so that's going to work. So in position, I need to put a keyframe. So before we start uh, sort of animating it, I need to put a keyframe in. And a keyframe allows me, if I highlight that, allows me just to put in, as you can see, a tiny little bullet point in the top left hand side of my still image clip. So that's put in, and that signifies that's the start of the animation. Let's move the playhead off to the right hand side. That's where the animation is going to stop. Okay, and of course, I can have it much wider or narrower if I wanted to. And then when it stops, I then go click back on my image and say, well, when it stops, the picture's got to be pretty much in that position. And you can see now I've got this kind of strange blue line. Uh, and the blue line, think of it as, as two thumbtacks uh, joined together with a, with a drawing pin. So if you slide the image to the left or to the right, it will come back because it's attached to a piece of elastic. So that's done. When I let go of the, um, the image in the main screen, uh, Elements very carefully, Premier Elements very carefully, puts another keyframe in at the end, signifying full stop, that's it, job done. So that's all we really need to do. I'll move the playhead back and you can see there's the animation. So let's play that. It's going to look a little bit on the jerky side because it needs to be rendered. Let's just try that again. And that's playing. There's the real video and here's the still image panning across. And of course, you can do this in any direction, up, down, sideways, left or right, either way you want to go. And that very simply is how we animate a still image using Adobe Premiere Elements.